The Democratic contenders who are keeping the focus on Nevada voters set to caucus next week. Bernie Sanders reaching voters at a campaign forum at the University of Nevada as he tries to make headway following the momentum from his New Hampshire win. While Hillary Clinton continues to push for votes as her campaign expects the race to tighten by Election Day. Brian Yenis is joining us live now from our New York City newsroom with more on this part of the story. Hi, Uma. Well, a week from today, February 20th, Nevada's Democratic voters will caucus, and both candidates are wooing two important voting groups, union workers and Latinos. You are now looking live at the Painters Union Hall in Henderson, Nevada, outside of Las Vegas, where Hillary Clinton is expected to speak at any moment, or she is speaking right now, actually, urging voters to caucus and saying she's going to keep her promises. This is home to the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades, which endorsed Secretary Clinton in October after polling their members. Just before this event, Clinton was at Harris Hotel and Casino shaking hands and taking selfies in the casino's cafeteria with workers and members of the powerful Culinary Union, which has 57,000 members. Meantime, Sanders is live now at the Forum at the University of Nevada in Reno. Earlier today, he spoke at a Canvas launch event at Reno's convention center. He covered the usual talking points, free tuition at public colleges and universities and he pushed young and newer voters to take part in the political process. He also spoke about passing comprehensive immigration reform, an important economic and political issue in Nevada where about 20 percent of Democratic voters are Hispanic. I have met people throughout this campaign, young people with tears running down their cheeks, who are literally worried that they or their parents will be deported tomorrow that they will be separated from their loved ones. Clinton has long been thought to have had the advantage in Nevada over Sanders because the Clintons are a favorite of many in the Latino establishment and community. You know, this past week, the Clinton camp, though, has been lowering expectations, conceding that the caucus next Saturday will be closer than previously thought. Campaign spokespeople are acknowledging Bernie's momentum following his big win in New Hampshire, while also downplaying Clinton's perceived Hispanic voter advantage this week, emphasizing they say that 80 percent of voters in Nevada are white. So we're now playing the expectations game heading into the big caucus vote on Saturday. Indeed. All right, Brian. Thank you so much for that update. No problem.